I'm back today with Chef Apollo Cooking Program. I'm back in the kitchen one more time again, guys, to give you a recipe of all you can make at Easter bun without using any alcohol inside of it. It's gonna be basic recipe, simple recipe, very straightforward to follow. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the recipe because a lot of people know and like alcohol, and you know, what I mean, you can do something without using alcohol inside of it to make it come out really nice and beautiful so i'm gonna make a nice lovely easter bun without using any alcohol inside of it leave your comments and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much nice one so first of all you need a little medium sized pot on the stove like this one right here guys you can see inside of it and basically what we're gonna simply do one two teaspoon of butter melted that's the first thing you're gonna do when you want to make a nice lovely Easter bun by not using any alcohol inside of it this is the best way you could ever make it so first of all let's melt the butter inside of it so one Two teaspoon of guava jam just to get it melt out. Also, uh, the butter is melted now, so you want to get the guava jam also melt out inside of it. And also, we're gonna put some molasses. One spoon of molasses inside of it. Molasses is a little bit sweet guys, so you have to be careful. So we're gonna put one spoon of it. Uh, so mix it up. We're not gonna use any alcohol in this bun. Uh, sometimes you know people making their bun and you know they don't wanna use any alcohol. They just wanna make a nice bun because a lot of people don't like alcohol. So you know, someone said to me, Chef Ricardo, why you just why you keep using alcohol in the bun? So I'm saying, if you need a bun without alcohol, request it, and I will definitely make it. So I turn off the stove now, and what we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is to get this to cool down. So simple thing what you need to do is to put this somewhere to make it get cool down. As you can see, the guava jam inside, the molasses is inside. So that looking lovely and nice. The next thing what you need to do is to put one cup of coconut cream, coconut milk inside of it like this. I'm using one cup of coconut milk inside of it guys. Some people use milk but the reason why I'm using the coconut milk because it's more richer. Then we're gonna put one cup of sugar inside of it. And we are using brown sugar. Nice one. Use a whisk and give it a whisk to dissolve the sugar. Then next thing what we're gonna basically we're gonna do is to put some vanilla. One spoon of vanilla, bring in the flavor, and some vanilla essence, really important. Teaspoon of vanilla essence. And also, it's very important to get some browning we're gonna put a teaspoon of browning tablespoon of browning inside of it nice one and then feel the temperature if it's really good. yeah last one we'll have like this Then we're gonna put one egg, guys. It's the, the coconut cream 
to help it to cool down a little bit. So we're gonna put one egg inside of it, beat it, room temperature. Nice one. And what we're gonna do now is to pour this into a container like this one which can lovely so as you can see we just pour it inside of this right here looking lovely and nice as you can see the richness of it and as I said we use the coconut milk because it gives it a nice lovely rich flavor and a rich taste also it does fantastic guys so now we're gonna go to the dry ingredients straight to the dry ingredient section now I'm using it one one pound of flour will be working out to six 16 ounces so right here I'm gonna put 16 ounces of flour and I'm using plain flour guys nice one then we're gonna put one teaspoon of baking powder baking powder is to help the bun to rise quickly fast and nice then we're gonna put some cinnamon cinnamon is to give the bun a lot of flavor and a lot of taste so we're gonna put one teaspoon of cinnamon lovely and also we're gonna put some grated nutmeg one teaspoon nice one and now so we're gonna put some mixed spice mixed spice is to give the bun a lot of taste and a lot of flavor and also salt is a uh, salt is good because it gives the bun also flavor we're gonna put a half teaspoon of salt the reason why I put half teaspoon of salt because yeah, yeah, the rest of the ingredients include salt so you don't want to put too much salt for you your bun to be salt and basically combine all, all the ingredients together like this and next thing put back a little bit of the flour inside of this container so we're gonna use half of the flour first let's put back a little bit more one then ahead what I did do earlier I have some fruits which I was soaking into two roughly two hour and then I blend my fruits I'm not gonna use my fruit my fruits in holder I blend it up but I didn't blend it up too fine as you can see half blended so I'm using one cups of blending fruits you can use a blender and blend it and you can buy the mixed fruits the mixed fruits have a lot of different kind of fruits. It's got mixed peel in it. It's got so many fruits, raisin, and that's the one I'm using. Or you can use your kind of fruits where you have at your home. I have the supermarket where you're gonna buy your stuff. You can ask also for glass cherry. It's very good for glass cherry inside of it. Or you can ask for bun spice, but I don't have none of those ingredients. So I'm gonna put half of this inside of it like this. I'm gonna put my another half lovely and nice and then I'm gonna put some liquid inside of this give it a little mix so I normally make my bun with the whole of raisin but this time I decided to make a blending Easter bun recipe and no alcohol is inside of this one So as you can see, this is looking lovely already guys. And next I'm gonna put the rest of my fruits. The rest of the flour. And also liquid. Then what you're gonna do, leave this amount of liquid inside of this container for you to paint, brush the bun when the bun has baked. So I'm gonna put this into a small container and I'm gonna leave that for me to brush the bun later on. 
give it a nice mix like this lovely nice so, as you can see so I blend the fruits with the same water which I was soaking the fruits in and I'm using one cup of blending fruits so you need to soak your fruits for roughly about two hours into some water or into some fruits liquid nice one so as you can see how the bun looks so far looking lovely and nice and as I said we're not using no alcohol and we are using blending fruits so now I'm gonna get my tray my oven baking tray to put my bun in and that's really nice the color everything looking perfect man this is just really ready so guys if you're allergic to alcohol you don't need to worry yourself there's no alcohol in this one it's just plain and straight I just use some coconut cream and make this one so enjoy the recipe and subscribe my YouTube channel thank you very much for watching chef Ricardo cooking program enjoy nice one it's the whole problem I find with this bun you gotta feel split on top of it because I'm opening the oven when they have it inside of the oven but when you're doing your one please don't open the oven well I just take it from the oven as you can see looking lovely and nice but as I said before I have some of my liquid left back from the bun mixture so I'm just gonna use this and brush the top of it just like this to give it that really glazy look what you are looking for so if I use this and just brush the top of it and then we're going to let the bun cool down for roughly one last nice two hour and we're going to cut it. But as you can see, it did get a little bit of top, the top might get a little bit of burst but that's pretty really good still, that's fine. You know, sometimes these things do happen when I bake it but I did open my oven and that's what the, what's what wrong. And I open my oven so but as I can see let's put the juice on it just for it to get it soak and moisture it so basically what we're gonna do now is just simple just let the bun cool down but as you can see how shiny it is you make it have that nice lovely look on top of the bun so the bun do takes up to 45 minutes inside of the oven and a medium size internal your stove at gas mark 4 and cook it in the oven for 45 minutes and get that perfect look guys and generous next thing which I'm gonna do also is to take it out and put it on an iron rack for it to get cool on a little bit more quicker and it's gonna love this and we're gonna cut some cheese and bun and put it together with some lemon and drink so enjoy the recipe for Easter Monday recipe this one enjoy it nice one as I can see oh my days the bun finished one hour for one hour since I've been cooling it down so I decided to give it a go so let's give it a go now and see what's going on I don't know guys tell me tell me tell me about this beautiful bun fantastic look at the maestro and everything guys it is so perfect so what I'm gonna do now is cut a nice two slice you know what happened it's still gonna take a little another another probably another hour and a half cool on but I say you know what time is running and I need to go and do some bits and pieces so I say you know what let's cut this and get rid of it as I say that's still gonna take some more cool on but that's fine for the time being, making the guys can see what's going on inside of the kitchen. This looking lovely and nice. You can see how the bun moisture. Mm. That's so and the bun warm too, you know. Oh my days, man, the bun look nice. The next thing what you need to do is to have a nice lovely glass of lemonade. 
So as you can see what's taking place at the moment, that's just wonderful and nice. Hopefully guys will like the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program and this bun and cheese we are made today is to tell you that there is no alcohol in it and this one was made from coconut milk. So it's still full of mice, just still tasting good still. Just enjoy the recipe. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. And as I always say, we have a lot more recipe coming up. So thank you guys.